Friends, either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are unaware of the caliber of disaster indicated by a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friends. Right here, I say trouble, right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a bitter player, certainly mine. Proud Sam always mighty proud Sam. I consider that the hours I spend with the cue in my hand are golden. Help me cultivate a horse sense and a cool head and a keen eye. Would you ever take a try to give an ironclad lead to yourself from a three-rail just as I say it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a ball climb game, I say that any boom can take and shove a ball in a pot. And I call that slump the first big step on the roads to the depths of Dag, where they say first it's a little of medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinch bag suit. And listening to some big out of town Jasper, hear him tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome truck race, no, but a race where they set out right on a horse. Like to see some stuck-up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch? No, well, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in a table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for P. And all week long, your river seat will be frittering. I say, your young men will be frittering and frittering away their noontime, summertime, chore time, too. Never mind getting dandelions pulled or the screen door patched or the beefsteak pounded. Never mind pumping any water to your parents or pockets in the system empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Folks, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm talking about the kids in the knickerbocker shirt tail moments. Kicking in the pool hall in the river city, you got trouble. Folks, right here in River City, with a capital T, and that stands for P, and that stands for pool. Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They'll be trying out Bevo, trying out Cuban, trying out Taylor Bay from cigarette weeds, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breath with sense. And one fine night, they leave the pool hall heading for the dance at the armory with libertine men and scarlet women and ragtime, shameless music that'll trigger your son, your daughter, in the arms of a jungle, animal instinct, Mothers of River City, heed the warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Trouble. Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? Trouble. A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Trouble. Is he starting to memorize jokes from Cat and Billy's whiz bang? Trouble. Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like swell Trouble. and so's your old man. Trouble. Well, if so, my friends, we got trouble. Oh, we got trouble. Right here in the city. A little T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for poor. That stands for poor. We surely got trouble. We surely got trouble. Right here. Remember the main Plymouth Rock and the Golden Rule. Our children's children's gonna have trouble, trouble. Folks, we got trouble. We got lots and lots of trouble. That came with the 15 numbered balls of the jungle. Devil's trouble.